something that was challenging. I launched uh, my company, although that's exciting. Of course, the looming um, more restrictions and not being able to perform and not being able to sort of uh, create opportunities for other artists, other dancers. Online teaching for me was a challenge at first, especially I um, would get super anxious, super nervous before teaching. I felt like I was performing and it was like the worst stage fright I've ever had. For me was lowering my expectations, having little control over what was happening this year. I wasn't able to tour and meet with the community across Canada. Um, I'm grateful that I was able to continue teaching, even if it was uh, virtual for, I feel like, most of this year. I'm thankful for your open-mindedness to receive those exercises and to uh, dance them with me. What I'm most grateful for this year, so that would definitely be time spent with my dog and my fiance. I'm grateful because uh, my family and I are healthy and happy. Yeah, really appreciate a slower pace um, and focus on sleeping and drinking water and um, that was nice. Something I'm hopeful for in the following year, in 2021, is to spend more time with my family in person and not on Zoom or on socially distant walks. People need to be a little bit more generous, not even with their possessions, with what they have to offer, whether if it's uh, their ability to teach or, or, or dance or anything, really. Hopefully to be able to see friends, to go out dancing, to exchange creative processes in a studio um, when the time's right. I hope that touch between people is um, destigmatized. Touch starvation is a thing. There is no doubt that this year has been one of the most challenging ones, both economically and mentally draining. We are so grateful to have you as our dance family and your endless support. We wish to see you all at the bar next year and to be able to inspire each other. Until then, happy holidays and happy new year. See you at the bar.